All right, here we go with another tutorial. In this one we're going to look at the Ogre Gorger. So I did mine up in a little bit of a different paint scheme. And uh, let's take a look at that here. So uh, with the, the flesh colors, I use these kind of purpley, um, pale flesh. and kind of make it look like it's some sort of sickly creature. Um, for the hair, I did the same sort of a red, uh, kind of a redhead kind of look uh, as the rest of my Ogre Army to help tie them in. Uh, for the leather, same as the rest of my ogres, and there's just a bit of bone. So there's not a lot of colors on this guy, and let's look at the different areas. So the, the vast majority is just this flesh, and so I use these uh, demonette sort of colors uh, on that. I thought that would give some nice contrast to my um, sort of skin-colored ogres. So the hair, there you go, that's the red hair. You'll see a bit, some other colors there. And again, just to, to give a bit more color to the, the model without being uh, like a clown, and to tie it in with the rest of my ogres. Standard leather colors there for the little bits of clothing he's wearing just to make him uh, decent for GW standards I guess. And some bone pieces that are tied all over him. Okay so starting off I started with a uh, black spray paint and just uh, base coated on the, the dark purplish color there. And as you can see I'm doing some other ogres in the background. Um, there'll be tutorial for that later. So yeah, getting nice coverage, making sure I get all the areas. This is an older metal model, so you have to be careful that uh, none of the uh, edges wear off as you're handling it. Uh, now what I'm doing here is I'm painting all of the other surfaces uh, with the next layer up and uh, just trying to avoid any of the crevices. So you're just trying to paint inside the lines where the lines are the raised areas and you're trying to avoid um, any of the deep shadows. Same goes here. Okay, now we're getting the lightest color on there, so just again, just try to paint the edges of those, make it a bit subtle, any scars like that, trying to outline them, and uh, blending it just a little bit by watering it down a touch, and uh, just trying to make the edges a little less obvious. Okay, base coating the hair, and the leather bits there, and I've also base coated some of the bone. Uh, I think I might have missed one or two of them, so they may not get the first color but uh, because everything's dark to begin with it doesn't really show up too much okay and then I uh, just went through and I layered up the the leathers like the rest of the things as well as the bone and uh, finished up with the hair so really not a lot to this model um, it's too bad there's only one pose of this guy because I have two of them but I only painted one for now so hopefully it's a nice addition to my ogre army um, thought the alternate sort of color would be neat I might paint up my other ones a different color just to make it look a little bit more uh, unique even though they're an exact same pose. Uh, for the base I uh, just added some sand on there and a couple of the uh, the tufts uh, just to help uh, break that up. That's how I've done the rest of my ogre army so those are all kind of unified kind of a look. And there's just a look at some of the details. Uh, there's the you know, rib cage. So you can see some of the brush strokes when you look in real close. This is obviously, uh, depending on what size screen you're looking at this on, this is much larger than real life. So uh, on the tabletop, this looks pretty decent, I think. And there, close up his face. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've got lots of Ogre Kingdom stuff. And uh, always uh, willing to do suggestions. If you have any comments, leave them below.